Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be going over how to install our very own alignment cam tap gussets and lockout plates. If you're located in the Southern California area and would like to have your kit installed, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to schedule you in. Before we get into it, I'd like to note that this install was performed on a 5th gen 4Runner, but the steps apply to all vehicles. Our alignment kit is fairly unique in the fact that it allows for more adjustment points than other kits, comes with properly shanked bolts, and for you 1st gen Tacoma and 3rd gen 4Runner guys, allows you to remove your lower control arms without removing your steering rack, which is a huge bonus. Our kit can be found on kepoffroad.com, I've linked it in the description below. Our kit works on a very wide variety of Toyotas, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us to our email or to our Instagram. I've also linked those below. Alright, now let's get into the install. You'll first want to ensure you have all the required parts. If you purchased a gift from us, then you should have the following items. 4 properly shanked bolts, 4 stover lock nuts, 8 washers, and 8 octagons. And if you're installing our cam tab kit, you should also have 8 cam tab plates with 16 cam tab keys. If you're missing any parts or if you lose something during the install, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to send you a replacement. You'll then want to gather your tools. The tools you will need will vary depending on the kit you ordered and which vehicle you're working on. But in general, you will need a socket set, a wrench set, pliers, a hammer, punches, and if you're installing our cam tabs, a drill with sharp drill bits, a grinder, and a welder. Once inventory has been taken and you have your tools ready, we can start prepping the cam tabs. If you are not installing cam tabs, you can skip this step. Start by installing the cam tab keys into the cam tab plates. Then flip the plates over and put two tacks on each key as shown in the video. Flip the plates back over and double check that your octagons or factory cams fit with a little bit of play. You'll then want to put a good coating of anti spatter on the parts and finish welding the back side of the cam tabs. Once the back sides are welded, flip the plates over and weld the outside edge as shown in the video. Repeat these steps for all the plates and cam tab keys. Again, you'll want to double check the fit of the octagons or factory cams once more before moving on to the next steps. This is also a good time to paint your new octagons. Now we can move on to prepping the vehicle. If you're installing cam tabs, you're going to want to disconnect your battery as you will be welding to the frame. Lift the front of your vehicle with your floor jack and place it on jack stands. Remove both front wheels so you can access your suspension. Now you will need to remove your lower control arm. On most Toyotas this can be accomplished by removing your lower ball joint bolts, lower shock bolt, and sway bar if you are working on an older model Toyota. Some models may require further disassembly. If you get stuck, there are many guides available online for your specific truck, and of course, you can always reach out to us with any questions. We're happy to help. Before you take out your cam bolts, we're going to need to mark their position. Start by cleaning them with a good degreaser. This is so you'll be able to see the alignment marks on the cam. You'll want to mark the middle position of your cam using a punch. By using a punch, you ensure you'll be able to see the alignment mark after painting the cam tabs. We can now finish removing the lower control arm by removing the cam bolts. As a note, these bolts can become rusted and seize in the control arm. If this is the case, you may need to cut them out with a sawzall. As you can see here, this one started to rust, but thankfully we caught it just in time. With the control arm out of the way, we can now start prepping the frame for the new cam tabs. If you have our octagons and bolts only kit, then you're almost done. Clean up your factory cam tabs, inspect the bushings on your lower control arm and replace them if needed. Apply a good coating of anti-seize to your new bolts and slide everything back together. Align the top of the octagon as close as you can to your punch marks. Finish installing your suspension and take your vehicle to your favorite alignment shop. If you are installing cam tabs, then keep watching. We will start by removing the factory cam tabs. This can be accomplished by first drilling out the spot welds holding them to the frame. Pick a drill bit that is slightly bigger than the spot weld and drill about halfway through the plate. You do not need to drill completely through the frame. 
You will then need to knock the plates off. An air hammer makes this step a lot faster, however, a big hammer and a punch will yield the same results. Once off, we can use a grinder to clean up the frame. You will want this as clean as possible as we will be welding to it. Repeat these steps for all 8 factory cam tabs. Let's move back to our upgraded cam tabs we welded earlier. They should be cool enough to touch now. If so, we can grind the back weld down. We want this weld as flush as possible so the new cam plates fit flat against the frame. Here we place each cam plate in a vise and use the grinder with a flappy wheel until we are satisfied with the results. Repeat this for all 8 of your cam tab plates. We receive a lot of questions asking how to align the cam tab plates on the frame. The answer is very simple. All you need to do is hold the new cam tab plate to the slot in the factory frame so they match. That's it. Once you're satisfied with the alignment, go ahead and tack them in place. Once they're tacked, you can finish the weld. Just go around all the edges and make sure you get good penetration into the plate and into the factory frame. On newer model Toyotas, the cam tab plate may hang off the factory frame. This is okay as you can just put a weld on the back side and it should work totally fine. By this point, your octagon should be dry enough to the touch. We can make sure that everything fits before we install the lower control arm. If you will be running the factory cams, you can also test fit those. They should fit with just a little bit of play. Our lockout octagons will work with OEM cam tabs and all other major cam tab manufacturers. Our cam tabs will also work with all alignment cams including our octagons and the Toyota factory ones. Everything looks good on this truck. If everything looks good on yours, then we can wrap this project up. Once your new cam tabs are cool, go ahead and paint them. Once the paint is fully cured, you can go ahead and install everything in the reverse order you removed it. Again, there are plenty of guides online if you get stuck. Make sure you apply a good coating of anti-seize to all your bolts and torque everything to the factory specifications. We really hope this guide was useful and of course if you have any questions about our kit or the installation process please reach out to us we are always happy to help thanks for watching and have a great day this install is for educational purposes only and the work should be performed by a shop with fabrication experience